why network marketing is like dating. Um, first of all, uh, we're not going to talk about dating today, which is comparing network marketing and dating. And the reason we're, I'm doing that today is because, you know, um, as, as far as I can see, again, in, it's just my personal humble opinion, is that um, in dating, most of the time you have one night stands or you're looking for a long term relationship, right? And uh, when you take that and you apply that or you see that, in the you know network marketing world, um, the way I see it sometimes is like um, when you you know the one night stand is like trying to sponsor hundreds and hundreds of people in a month, for example, where you go and you focus you're, you're focusing more on the actual transaction of people signing up than the process of people actually uh, signing up and the, using that sign up day. Uh, as the beginning of that relationship where you're going to spend some time, you're going to commit to that person that you have in front of you, whether, you know, maybe it's online, in front of you online, I mean, uh, or physically, you know, when if it's in the same town, in the same city where you're sitting in front across the table with someone. And it's a, it's a commitment. It's a commitment. It's a two-way street where you commit to that person and that person commits to you. You commit to you know, giving them advice and telling them what the next step is as long as they commit to take action, learning and uh, stay hungry in a sense, like we talked about in many other videos before this one, where they're going to take action on what they learn and they keep coming back for more, right? And that's how kind of you start a long-term relationship, right? The longer that relationship, the more stable and the more chances that person in front of you has to become your next big leader that is going to be leading thousands of people, hopefully, right? And it's going to be your biggest leverage. Hopefully all that makes sense. So the reason why network marketing is like dating is because, again, when you, when you don't have, first of all, when you don't have clear what you want to achieve uh, in that relationship, right? Uh, chances are that you're focusing more on the numbers, right? You're going to be having one night stand, which is, I'm going to build a relationship with this person. I'm going to sign them up. And as soon as I sign them up, I move on to the next person. And then as soon as I sign that one up, I move to the next person. And that's sometimes what happens um, in network marketing. We feel like we need to talk to so many people and sign up so many people that we don't take the time to build a long-term relationship with someone. So again, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion and there's nothing, there's no right or wrong. Um, based on our experience, my piece of advice for you today, if I may, is that um, whenever you're talking to someone, first of all, have very clear, you know, whether you want to have a one night stand, just sign up someone and move on to the next one, or you're actually looking for your next big leader. Because if you are looking for your next big leader, my advice would be take the time to get to know that person, take the time to when they sign up, they decided that you are the right person, that you are the person that is going to lead them to achieve their goals and their dreams. You are there every step of the way, as long as they commit to you and they do what you actually advise them or share with them that they should be doing. So hopefully that makes sense. You know, that's why I feel that sometimes, you know, network marketing is very similar to, to, uh, to dating, right? So in the meantime, don't make, make sure that you drop uh, comments below, see what you feel. Uh, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. And uh, maybe you want a one night stand and it's perfectly fine. Uh, signing up a lot of people, you know, it's also a very good thing to, to do because, you know, chances are that one of them may become your next big leader. But if you want to increase your chances, obviously, you know, make sure that you build that relationship with that person. Make sure that you take care of them. It's a, you know, they're putting the trust, their trust in you. Um, and I think sometimes that's, that's a big commitment for both of, both of you, right? For the person that is signing up and the person that introduced that person to the business. So you make sure there is kind of a long-term relationship. There is any chance you all, and you never leave anything to, you know, uh, to chance to, to miss out in the, in the meantime. So in the meantime, have an amazing day and, uh, let's talk soon.